everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. It might not look like a challenge run, might look like a vanilla run, but in actuality, we are playing a challenge run suggested by YouTube user Torney, like T-Zero-R-N-I-I. -I. I hope it's Torney. I'm doing my best there. In any case, this is a run about a superhero named Torney. It's called Torney's Theme. What we have to do for this run is uh, anytime we come across a new item, we absolutely have to take it. So common cold, that's going to be an easy one. Uh, but if we come across a new spacebar item, no re-rolling, I'm modifying the run slightly to make it a little bit more difficult, believe it or not. If we come across a new spacebar item, absolutely have to take it, even if we have, you know, say the nail and we're replacing it with something like, I don't know, Anarchist Cookbook or something like that. Uh, additionally, anytime we get a new trinket, we have to take it. I'm gonna make one exception here for the sake of making this run a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna say no tick. If we get the tick, I'll, I'll totally go against the conditions of the challenge run. Uh, but in the meantime, everything else, anything goes, we go to all item rooms, we can go to all shops if we so choose. Basically, this is just to ensure that this run is gonna be constantly fluid, it's gonna be constantly in motion, if you will. Shifting. We got a pill? Fuck yeah, we're gonna take a pill. It hurt us? Whatever. Flatulence? That's cool, I guess. Uh, I know where our item room is here. I think. I have ch very shitty luck with first floor item rooms, but... I'm gonna hedge my bets and assume that nah, I am an idiot, because it's not there, actually. Alright, let's move on to the left, then. And again, we can use this D6 as long as we want, uh, but we have to replace it as soon as we come across a spacebar item. Now, watch, this will be the only challenge run in recent memory where we actually never get any other spacebar items. I gotta say, uh, you know, Common Cold is a pretty solid pickup, given the conditions of this run, because it is a passive. In fact, all passives will be useful uh, to varying degrees, but Common Cold, one that helps us do... Uh, fairly substantial amount more damage, over time at least, uh, is going to be a nice pickup in and of itself. But in any case, I'm assuming we'll get another passive here, either Steven or Little Steve. Either way, um, I'm cool with that, a little bit of extra damage. We're gonna get a Little Steve. I almost wish it was the other one, I might have been better off going for a reroll there. But in any case, down to the next floor, watch me get zero keys and have this run just completely be nullified in, in terms of its uniqueness right away. We'll see, in any case. Probably shouldn't be uh, a harbinger of doom and death just yet, until we get a little bit further in. Feeling pretty solid about the items that we've got so far, and there's our key, so we will be able to go to the item room. The question is, do I roll the d6 on the item room if we get a shitty spacebar item, or do I stick to the conditions of the run and start, uh, just like, pick up the spacebar item immediately? Maybe I'll just ignore the d6 for now, uh, and I'll just pick up the item immediately, even if we get the hourglass or something that is otherwise garbage. So I want to start us off on the right foot here. Let's just pretend as if we have no spacebar item here. I have no spacebar item. Uh, what do we have here? Rainbow Baby, that's another easy pickup. So we're gonna have a nice little suite of familiars following us around. DPS actually pretty strong right now. Uh, we do have our boss room as well, but I don't want to go to it just yet. I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my opportunities to get something out of this judgment. Could give us a spacebar item, could give us a normal item, could give us a trinket. Who the F knows these days? It's a crazy mixed up world. I got Rainbow Baby, Steven, Common Cold on the first few opportunities for uh, items. We never have good luck like that. Another pill. Health up. Health down. I was fairly close, you know, you gotta give me that. Uh, I think now it's in our best interest to go to this last room. Maybe we'll get a lucky health up pill. Uh, even though the run's called Easily Distracted, I'm under no obligation to take absolutely every pill I've come across. That was the, the last challenge run that we did. So don't get that in your head. Uh, how do I feel about Rainbow Baby? I always go, oh, this is awesome. We could get our HP upgrade back. Or I could just lose my spirit heart instead. I always go back and forth on how I feel about Rainbow Baby. I think I would l prefer to have a familiar I know as opposed to a familiar I don't. Sherry, it's pretty good. Uh, but you know, if I have to have a, a familiar Rainbow Baby, I guess, falls somewhere in the middle, which makes sense, I mean, given that it's, you know, an aggregate of all the other familiars stacked up together. In any case, I would rather have Rainbow Baby, for example, than, say, um, Little Chad. That, that much is pretty obvious, I'm guessing. Anyway, I took a little bit of damage there because I ran into that guy stupidly, but we will basically get an HP upgrade as well as a cube of meat. Maybe I can get a bomb in here or something. Well, none of those really appeal to me all that much. So, I think it's down to the next floor. So far, this run has basically just been a vanilla run with some pretty surprising luck. And actually, by way of that eternal heart, or thanks to that eternal heart, uh, we ended up not really losing out on uh, HP on that floor. I mean, technically, we still did because we could have four health right now. But I'm not going to complain too much because I feel like we're doing pretty solidly. Uh, I hate this room. I hate everything about this room. Okay. 
Okay, the layout. This room would be so much easier if we could just fly, but sadly, we can't. Little Steven can hit that fly at the very end of this level, though, so if I just do that, that'll make that happen. And we will be able to go to our item room here. D6 still off the table. There we go, finally! We're gonna have Dad Sea Scrolls. How cool would that be if instead of summoning like a random item every room, or every room when you use it at least, uh, it summoned like a random dad from a television show? Like sometimes you get, uh, you know, Phil Huxtable. Is it Phil Huxtable? What's, what was Bill Cosby's name in the Cosby, Cosby show? It was a Huxtable, I know that, but I don't think it was Bill Huxtable. Anyway, I've never seen the Cosbys beyond like two episodes on Nick at Night when I was young. Excuse me, younger. Uh, yeah, let's let's pop an item here. Why not? My little unicorn. I was actually literally hoping for that. I didn't say it, so you're gonna have to take uh, my word at face value here. But I swear to God, that's what I was hoping for. Um, what, other famous TV dads, you know, Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, stuff like that. Yeah, sure, Judgment. Just milk me every single floor. Uncle Phil. I guess he's not a TV dad. He's more of a TV uncle. But you know, I'm gonna lump him in here regardless. Uh, they can now come get us. Oh God. Run away. Thank you, random little gish from Rainbow Baby. What do we have in our item room? We have something, or sorry, our mob trap room. We have a golden chest that I don't want to open. And, blow this up. We got another key that I can't quite get to, so I guess we're just going to fight our boss, and hopefully, uh, we'll get yet another fairly solid item, because we've been getting very lucky uh, with the upgrades that we've picked up so far, believe it or not. Oh, that was awful damage. I think gish sometimes actually ends up hurting me on like peep and monstro fights because it causes the jump range to be a lot lower than expected which might seem like a good thing but you know if you're not expecting it uh, it can catch you off guard and F you up a little bit anyway peep's getting his ass kicked we've taken a little bit of damage in our own right so it's probably pretty unlikely that we're gonna get a deal with the devil here which might be a good thing because I actually need that health uh, to invest back into myself you know and poison damage might actually do it here there we go you pick up a range upgrade, which is not really all that useful, and now I kind of feel like the wheels are starting to come off this run a little bit. Dead Sea Scrolls, you know, not the best item in the world. Yum Heart, actually a pretty solid uh, random item to get there, because I needed the health. Now watch, we'll get like a red heart and a half drop here or something. More poison damage would be awesome. I think the luck would affect the number of shots that we had that did poison damage, as opposed to just not doing it here. Well, we get a little bit of extra money, which of course we will invest in Judgment, who will proved to be fruitless for us if we ever come across another judgment, which now we probably won't, meaning of course the next judgment we come across would have paid out if he had existed, which he doesn't. Anyway, that commentary made basically zero sense, hoping that this is the last floor where I'm going to be dealing with dad sea scrolls because uh, I don't feel like it's been, I don't feel like it's all that useful, but uh, you know, I, there's times when it could save me. It's been fairly good so far. And now that we're back at full health, I feel a lot safer, and thus... God damn it! Uh... I, Dead Sea Scrolls, I mean, it, it didn't make my list of the top 10 worst items in Isaac, but it was pretty close. Like, you pretty much could have swapped out Monster Manuel, or Monster Manuel, or Monster Manual for, um, for Dead Sea Scrolls. And you wouldn't rile too many people's opinions, I feel. I think, uh, Dead Ski, uh, Sea Scrolls is objectively better. What am I talking about now? Dad Sea Scrolls? Dead Ski Scrolls? I don't know, man. But uh, I do think Dead Sea Scrolls is uh, objectively better, but uh, not by a whole lot. It's infinitesimally objectively better, if that makes any sense at all. Let's save our uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Wow, we found a secret room by accident. Let's save our Dead Sea Scrolls for the boss room, because we should be coming across that fairly quickly. We do have a 8 cents now, which might give us enough to make the shop worthwhile. We definitely have enough keys to, at the very least, risk it, I feel. And uh, this is a room where it might have been worth it to pop dead sea scrolls, but we're going to come out of it without taking damage regardless, which feels good, man. Uh, we're going to pick up 10 bombs, also beautiful. Might as well shoot all of this uh, poop in here, because if we get a another extra cent, you know, every extra cent very much counts in this situation. We did get one in the bottom right corner there. Uh, I guess I should just go back to that shop immediately because I am otherwise done with this floor except for the boss room which we have not found yet. So let's go down and then down and then left. Left again uh, and a third left followed by another down which will take us to the shop where hopefully we will not fight greed all these guys again. Uh, well, Super Greed, so I guess I was half right. I am gonna pop, uh, Dead Sea Scrolls here. If it makes Super Greed, you know, 90% dead, that is A-OK -okay in my book. 
So, he's basically done. One more hit or two should do it. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. Thank you, Cuba Meat. And we're gonna pick up a ton more money and a spirit heart and two bombs. You know, that was actually a fairly good haul, all things considered. Let's try to find our way to the boss room. We are on the second catacombs floor, aka the second caves floor, aka two item rooms and two shops left after these ones. Which, you know, they are already exhausted, so we should probably just consider that to be the reality that we're living in here. Hopefully that makes any sense. I'm real tired, man. I'm that great combination of being tired and hopped up on caffeine. So, I, I can't really feel my feel my tiredness, but objectively, like consciously, or unconsciously I should say, I know that it's there. Like, I can feel the tiredness existing. But, it's like when you're drunk, but you, you're not, you're so drunk that you can't tell that you're drunk, you're just like... I don't feel the drunkenness, but my sober brain, which lies somewhere in a hole deep inside of my drunk brain right now, understands that I must be drunk, if that makes any sense at all. Probably not. In any case, let's get all this stuff. Pretty smooth walk in here. Like so, and like so. Pretty good. Can we go three for three? Yes, we can. And we are n we are gonna get uh, Dead Sea Scrolls charged up for this boss fight, which may be useless or may be awesome, depending on what we get there. Uh, I am taking a staggering amount of damage, considering we are just dealing with conga liners here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I thought he was gonna die to the poison damage. That's why I kind of neglected to finish my job there. Then you know, kind of absolves me of responsibility. Not really. Hey, Bloody Penny, that's actually a pretty good trinket for us to be getting when we're having health problems like this. So, let's pop this. Deck of cards gives us the fool and causes us to take damage. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This bomb should be good. And by good, I mean not worth anything at all. How about we put one here? This should be good. There we go. Killed one of them and then almost got killed by this other one here. Let's just start stacking up some poison damage in on these guys' segments, and of course, after I say that, we will not get any poison damage at all. He'll be dead in a second anyway. Alright, so we finally get some extra HP. We get a little bit closer to full health. This Fool card is total garbage. We might as well just pop it right away once we finish here. Uh, so yeah, let's just respawn on exactly the same room. I'm sure there's probably some situations where the Fool card is not absolute trash. Beats me though, man, what they are. Circle around here, getting a little concerned. I'm taking so much damage, but it's because I'm doing so little damage. I really was hoping, A, we'd get some weird spacebar items and make this run kind of crazy. Oh good, yeah, spawn that half heart in a place where I can't get it. Um, or, you know, get some solid items, which is also, you know, usually valuable. If we can get something like a mom's knife or a brimstone. It would be still be worth it to invest in a mom's knife or brimstone at this point. It's just kind of unlikely that I'm gonna get them. Oh my god, are you effing kidding me? How did I get hit twice there? That's crazy! At least I picked up another half heart there, so I technically... Well, I mean, I did get hit twice, but... Technically, if you want to get technical... Which means I'm gonna lie, but if you want to get technical, I only took half a heart of damage there. Net, anyway. My, my cost was only half a heart. Uh, and now we are back to full health, so... No, 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 boo boo. Wow, we lose Dead Sea Scrolls for the poop. That feels good. Uh, immediately, we're gonna go back to the shop and hopefully buy something better. Poop number three, if I give a shout out to myself on the uh, top 10 worst items in Isaac list uh, from YouTube Z list YouTube star Northern Lion. Uh, now, I am just being inundated with shots here. This is very concerning for me, for reasons you can probably understand as I get down to one single heart remaining now. This bomb's gotta be big. Just don't die against a bunch of fucking grandfather flies, man. That would be an embarrassment from which I may not recover. There we go. Single bomb fly left. Don't die to this bomb fly and you may actually live to see another day. There's some hearts. Oh, please be a full health pill. That is- I ate them! This is not good! This is like a, a really bad room for me to be on, too. I'm just gonna be dropping bombs like crazy. Give me... Yes, thank you. Now I just have to get to them. I should not be over here. Okay, just run. Baby, I gotta run away as fast as... Thank God. Okay, now we still have to get out of here. Oh, but the game has been generous for once. Thank you, benevolent overlords. Oh, but I still gotta hit at the end. Okay, but we're still alive. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna come up here, go to the right, shoot the poop, get the penny, and then get the... It didn't work at all. Oh, good, let's do the same room uh, over again. Second verse, same as the first here. 
You're gonna trigger this guy, run away, drop that in there. Very good. That feels good. Now you guys go into the spikes. Jump in the spikes. They're not gonna jump in the spikes, are they? Alright, well, we'll do this then. You brought this on yourselves. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Can we please just make this go faster? Why are you running away now? Is it because of the Kanye song? Thank you. One more bomb. I've been hemorrhaging bombs like crazy. Oh, yeah, good. Just disappear. Don't give me access to the chest or something. Apparently the, the rules of the Binding of Isaac no longer apply. I probably shouldn't have put that fire out, but hey, we got a heart out of it, which means, you know, increased chance of survival for me, which is usually a positive thing, you know, living. Not always, I guess, but uh, sometimes. In the most cases. Wow, we are almost up to full health again. I should really actually be using this poop. That's something I'm bad about, is not using the poop nearly as often as I should. Uh, and basically just being like, I've got the poop. I might as well have no space bar item. Let's not be sad. Get mad instead. That heart's going to die to poison damage. No, it's not. How about now? Yes, it is. And now we are back to full health, believe it or not. Kind of didn't expect that to ever happen. We are basically just on the lookout for the shop right now. Please just die. Just die. Nobody likes you. Thank you. And the key, sure, hit me. Hurt me more. Oh, they took me up on that offer. Okay, we're putting a bomb here. Throwing it in. Boom, fuck you, single bomb fly remaining. Okay, we are... Not only am I ha am I doing poorly, but it's been hard. Like, these have been hard floors, man. Hard rooms, anyway. I've got to shoot all the poop because we get money for it. Uh, we might, or we get, yeah, we potentially get money, and the money potentially gives us, uh... Oh my god, just walked into it. Money potentially gives us, uh, additional... Hearts, which is essential. Please be a damage upgrade in there. Well, we got a bomb, a key, and a spirit heart. That's the whole, the whole shebang right there. Let's fight our boss. Maybe we can survive and get a second cube of meat. Survival is not guaranteed on this one. Many things could go wrong here. War typically is not super difficult. Uh, the question is, do I have the speed to get away from his dick attack? When he, uh, like, loses his horse and just starts running full bore at you? I don't know yet. We'll see. Just hide in the corner, please. Thank you very much. Pretty much sums up my childhood. Just hide in the corner. I got way darker than I expected, man. Okay, drop some poison damage in here and in here. Oh, there we go. It's perfect. He's trapped. Oh, but when he escapes, he is going to be pissed off. Okay, so just keep it over here. I'm occasionally hitting him. I don't want to free him. Believe you me. Oh, he's out. Okay. Come on, Rainbow Baby, and give me some gishes. Daddy needs a new pair of hearts. War is about to need a new sack. Okay, well, okay, this is good. Second cube of meat. Deal with the angel. Prayer card? What is this nonsense? I... <laughs> I've never seen, well I have seen Prayer Card of course, I just haven't seen it for quite some time. Now I'm still going to explore a little bit, because I want to make sure, oh yeah, just let's take some damage here while we're at it, right? Uh, I want to make sure that uh, I'm going to the shop, because you know, now especially that we have Prayer Card, we could end up amassing some pretty solid HP upgrades as a result of this uh, Prayer Card. By the way, the other exception to the previously listed uh, conditions of the challenge run is that once I get the Polaroid, I'm not going to take any more trinkets. Obviously, we are going to take the Ankh. That's going to give me a little bit greater chance of survival, which is something that I'm kind of woefully needing. Now, I'm not using the prayer card yet because I don't want to take damage and then not be able to get an Eternal Heart on the next floor. That much should be pretty obvious. You know what? We're going to get a little crazy here because the Blood Bank plus Bloody Penny oftentimes works out very well. If we could just get an HP upgrade, I'd be a happy camper. But at the very least, we are getting... A lot of, uh, a lot of pennies. We should probably be a little bit cautious, because health has been an issue. Uh, we'll play until we get stuck at one heart. Right now, we're doing okay. Sometimes we get two pennies out of this, and that could... Well, at least it gave us one back. When we get down to one heart and half a spirit heart, we will just try to... We'll maintain the status quo, basically. If they haven't given us, uh, a real health upgrade by then, I'm gonna be kind of pissed off, though. Hey, there we go! Just in time! Alright, I'm a happy person now. We had, that also counts as a speed upgrade, which would have been really beneficial before that war fight, but I guess that's what I get for rushing to the boss instead of exploring the entire floor first. 
And now we do have a second cube of meat, so we're doing a little bit more damage. DPS, you know, we're still not at mom's knife levels, but we're, we're hurting people. And that's important. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd necessarily consider, you know, a fistula to be a person. But maybe I'm just old school like that. Okay. Cool, back it up. Poison damage, we're all right. Can't believe that motherfucker just totally denied the conventions of Geneva shooting at me after the buzzer there. It's very bad sportsmanship. Okay, now they're just gonna run into the fire, which seems A-OK -okay by me. We're gonna move onwards. The shop is right there. I was just about to say the shop's gotta be there. But then, mid-commentary, I adjusted what I was gonna say. That's professionalism right there. That's what happens when you made 430-something Isaac videos. This is 433, I think. Uh, red heart, thank you. In here, fuck you flies. Compass is an easy buy. Not trying to rhyme, it's just happening totally accidentally. We're gonna save 15 cents. Uh, I think those were good purchases. So it's on to the next floor. Things got dire there for a while, but now looking pretty solid. We got the compass, we got the prayer card. Uh, I would love to get a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Now, I would love to get a um, battery 9 volt nun habit. Any of those would be A okay with me. Ideal situation would probably be, you know, we find one of them for half off in the shop and then invest the other. Seven or eight cents into a judgment. Well, we definitely have greed on this floor. I didn't use the prayer card. Oh, Northern Lion, you are a dumb idiot sometimes. It's okay. I'll use it right the F now, and we'll try to amass a spirit heart. Or we'll try to amass a new health upgrade before the next floor. That was very silly of me, but all is not totally lost yet. Uh, let's go in through our item room. Technology, that's actually really great. That's going to help us put out these fires a lot easier, but also we are going to be doing uh, poison laser damage. Which is a combination of descriptors that I never thought I would say in my entire life. We got green lightsaber here. Uh, it doesn't appear like I'm doing as much damage as I thought I would be doing, but I might just be aiming very, very poorly. In fact, that is probably the most likely scenario here. In any case, you know, getting some more red hearts. There is an arcade there. I would love to earn another HP, however I or another HP upgrade, however I can. This is actually a pretty solid suite of items now. I'm, I'm happy with it. We've got good familiars. Uh, we're obviously going to be fighting Mom on this floor. Uh, oh, this is not good. That was close. Uh, yeah, we're obviously going to be fighting Mom on this floor, and this is a nice uh, set of items for taking out Mom because we will have basically piercing damage and also poison poison damage good against bosses that spawn a lot of enemies or have a ton of HP which is gonna be super annoying for us now here's the real question if I go to that blood bank do we and by we I mean I but do I lose that eternal heart first if so I should just go through these rooms uh, first like get it charged up first and then go to the blood bank because I don't want to lose my eternal heart for basically no reason I don't think a nickel is worth a key right now we only have to go through one more room and not get hit twice on this room in order to get that health upgrade, so... Um, I, I, I definitely want to do this. <laughs> Plus our shop is right there, so the, the timing works out as well. Uh, and, you know, we're not fighting a mini-boss in the shop, so we'll probably buy whatever item is available here. I kind of hope it's not a spacebar item and thus does not replace our... Uh, prayer card. But if it does, we should use that prayer card now. So at least we got one HP upgrade out of it. Uh, we're gonna get the ladder. We are gonna buy it. Uh, we should probably buy that key as well. In the meantime, there's a lot. Of oh, yeah! Daddy likes! Let's get that key. We have five cents left. After this, we can go to the boss room, but first things first, we have, what, like seven times we can play this blood bank? Which seems like a smart idea to me. It's gonna allow me to amass a lot of health. So let's come in here. We Probably more than seven times. I say we play until we get as low as we can go. Not to mention, you know, we're gonna get extra hearts just by way of... Oh my god, there's a dime there. This is great! I, I, I wanna... There we go. So we don't even have to mess around with that anymore. That was super quick. Now we've got a few extra speed upgrades by way of those HP upgrades. And I'm starting to feel like, you know, we're gaining some momentum. Maybe we've got a chance here. Easily distracted. Messed up my use of the prayer card. But functionally, I think we're basically in the same position here. Let's make some good stuff happen. Sadly, this is a dead end. I actually was going in the right direction before, I suppose. Should be able to stack up some decent poison damage on Chubb here. Can we poison multiple segments of his body? I'm not 100% clear on that. He's dead, though, so it doesn't really matter. 
Money at this point still could be important because we're getting so many red hearts. Maybe we come across a random blood bank at some point. Uh, and we end up getting another health upgrade, which could be incredibly beneficial. At this point, if we get a deal with the devil, what do I possibly want? Would I still want... Oh my god. Would I still want a brimstone or a mom's knife? I mean, potentially, I don't know. Uh, we do have a golden chest here, which could be quite honest with you. I feel like maybe we should pop open, just have some fun with it. Uh, but we are going to be using a couple of bombs here already. One on that tinted rock. Which will hopefully give us... Ew, that was bad damage. There goes our spirit heart. But it'll hopefully give us the small rock. Basically, all I want right now is a damage upgrade anyway. He's dead. We get a random key. Is there any way I could put a bomb into a good position to... I don't think so, but we'll try. That gives us two spirit hearts. Well, two spirit hearts for a bomb is a fair trade. We got a key on this room, so it kind of feels like we'd be doing ourselves a disservice if we didn't open it. So we ended up wasting a bomb to do that, but we didn't waste a key. Bombs are going to be pretty valuable for that Mom's Heart boss fight, obviously, but plenty of time to replenish those. Assuming we even get to Mom's Heart, which of course is something that is still uh, up in the air. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to replenish all of my uh, spirit, or replenish my- oh, it might be, yeah, damage was essential there, or, uh, compulsory, basically. Uh, not gonna be able to replenish my prayer card before the end of this floor, so, you know, the badness of my prayer card management continues to kind of haunt me, sadly. But those guys are all dead, and we get a key. So, with Necropolis now over, we are gonna be fighting regular version of Mom, and we're just gonna be stacking up that poison damage like crazy. Try to make sure we can do as much damage as possible. I like this challenge run suggestion so far, mostly because we've gotten some really good and kind of weird combinations of items, so it's given us a chance to, to try something out a little new in Isaac, if you will. Not that I haven't had, you know, technology 30 times before, but... Oh, that's some bad damage. I really want to keep these spirit hearts on me, so at least I have a chance of, uh... Holding on to the prayer card, or making the prayer card worthwhile for us as we move forward. Since we are going to be losing Bloody Penny on this floor, so the more health we can stack up, the better. Hopefully no more health down pills. It's kind of a longer fight than I expected. We're not really dealing as much damage as I expected to be dealing. But the crowd control uh, is definitely an underrated positive of what we've got going on here. That is for sure. Dodge the grandfather flies. Probably about 10% left in Mom there. Just trying to prioritize the hardest enemies. I can't believe I got hit again, but I guess, you know, believe it, because I did walk, like, right into uh, the hand. And that should do it. There's an Eternal Heart for us randomly, so I don't even need the prayer card there. We get a Tears upgrade, which make, might make technology fire a little bit faster, and we get the Polaroid as well. So beautiful. Down to the next floor. Let's make some good stuff happen. We do have the compass, so we should be able to bum rush the boss as quickly as possible. At least get in the right direction. Uh, do we fire faster? We fire a lot faster, actually, and there goes one heart already, so good thing I didn't have the prayer card available just yet. So our damage is still not great on a, like, per-shot basis, but, uh, you know, it could be a lot worse right now. I'm very wary about using this eternal heart, or using this prayer card. I might just save it for the, after the boss fight, uh, because I'm pretty sure I would lose it in this situation with the amount of damage that I'm taking. Wow, that was very close. Come at me, brains! dead. If only I could get Rage to stack with this right now, that would be awesome. But we'll see what we get in our boss room here. Anything could happen. More money. Sadly, we don't have the uh, Bloody Penny anymore, so that can't really benefit us too much. This clearly seems like the wrong direction, unfortunately. Polyphemus would also be a huge get, but we're unlikely to get that until, uh, you know, the chest, if at all. Not that I should be complaining. I mean, Polyphemus is awesome. It would be possibly game-breaking for us right now. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go down dead center. Again, I might have made a mistake with my uh, eternal heart usage here, or uh, I should say my uh, prayer card usage, but I think this is the smartest, most practical decision. There's a random speed upgrade for us. That's not bad. Uh, this would have been, this blood bank would have been amazing on the last floor. On this floor, it, it seems a little bit more uh, not quite as useful, but we got a bomb. Why don't we use that to see if we can get some red hearts here and keep us alive a little bit longer? Well, we got two more cents, which is actually worthless. Blood banks almost always drop at least one half red heart when blown up, so to, to not get anything there hurts quite a big, or quite a great deal. Anyway, let's kill this dude and back it up, and then kill that guy, and we'll have one more room remaining before our boss. And you know, Fistula. 
very fun enemy to fight when you have technology because it basically just tears through enemies like or, yeah technology tears through the uh, enemies like crazy taking a lot of damage on this floor almost took a little bit more right there but hopefully we fight Skolex here who would be another very easy boss given our current situation well this is good too because we are gonna get our third level meat boy assuming we survive and that that is not guaranteed uh, this this could be a fairly difficult boss fight actually Obviously, I'm not too concerned about the uh, hourglass, but now that he is just constantly spawning zombies and his horse is going to be moving around, I think we're going to be okay. I'm lucky I didn't take damage there, but anyway, death is going to be dead any second now due to poison damage. We get a little half red heart, and now we just start going to town. Wow, the horse died super quickly. That gives us third level Meat Boy. We pop the prayer card, pick up another HP upgrade. Bob's your uncle. We're still making progress. Getting some good stuff done, I would say. Uh, with one, we have one more key that is necessary for the chest, so we'll continue using that whenever possible. There goes our prayer card. We're going to pick up Tammy's head instead. How is this going to work? Because, yeah, we have... Tammy's head always takes tier effects. I was wondering if it was going to take technology there, but it didn't. Uh, but, you know, Tammy's head versus the prayer card? I almost feel like Tammy's head might be the winner in that situation. It's going to cost us... I, like, at some point, here's, a, here's my reasoning. At some point, our limiting factor in our success is not going to be the number of heart containers that we have. Because, you know, it, heart containers don't really mean all that much if you can't fill them up. So if you're at full health and you can stay at full health, then heart containers are really valuable. If you can't, uh, then they're totally meaningless, basically. Tammy's head is not the greatest item in the game, but with the, the tier effects that we do have, it gives us a little something extra. Is it worth a bomb to get a bomb? Good question. I guess the answer is it's exactly fucking even, mathematically speaking. And Tammy said does decent damage. It's gonna be good on these rooms where I, I need to kill enemies super quickly. In any case, first things first. Get hit by that laser like I often do. Take this laser out. When am I gonna use Tammy's head? I'm not 100% sure yet. You just go to town, meat boys. Don't die here. That's a little bit of a major concern of mine right now. Uh, I'm concerned about the death that I could possibly face against Mom's heart. This should be a very easy fight, uh, but, you know, stranger things have happened. We got enough bombs, we got the poison damage. Meat Boy! Meat Boy, you fucking idiot! Oh my god! He kicked the bomb back into me! Okay, Meat Boy, you chill there. Bombs are gonna go off, just don't sweat it. Don't kick that bomb back at me even a little bit, Mr. Mr. Man. We're gonna kill the Duke of Flies super easy. Poison damage plus piercing shots is a recipe for success against him. Gonna have permanent bombs any second now. There's Chubb. I was waiting for Chubb to pop uh, Tammy's head there. Is it? Did it really benefit us all that much? I don't think so. But Chubb is dead now. Meat Boy, you have one very, very simple job. And that is to stand under that heart and just continuously bite until it dies. And you are not doing that job. Meat Boy, you are not doing that job. Okay, we're still alive, which I kind of didn't expect as things went off the rails a little bit there. Looks like the boss room's fairly close. This dead end is not going to help. Neither is uh, totally missing on that uh, Tammy's headshot. Constant bomb fly spawning, apparently, for whatever reason. There's one dead. There's two dead, and Meat Boy is going to town. I can just do crowd control, I guess. Basically be a bouncer while um, Meat Boy does the good stuff here. We actually found a secret room by accident too, which is lucky for me. Meat Boy, there's a very simple uh, task for you to accomplish here, I would say. Just go attack Loki. If I can get you any closer, you could smell his testicles through his underwear. Anyway, we're done with that room. We pick up uh, Borderline Nothing. Might as well play the slot machine, am I right? Can we push the slot machine? I, I wanted to push it up here because I'm going to blow up this wall. Wow. That's really good luck. Um, I should probably play this, like, way more often. Who knows? Uh, it might actually be critical to my success at this point, but it's also super lame and I hate doing it. So maybe we'll just move on instead. Tammy's head! Thanks for hooking me up. I think the poison damage on Tammy's head feels like it's higher than the poison damage from my technology shots. Whether that's true or just a total placebo, I have no idea. Uh, I need to go back for that half red heart. That much is obvious. I thought I picked it up there. Tammy's head, though, man. It's a solid item in this situation. It does, like, 30% of an enemy's health. We lost the spirit heart there, but in return, we gained a, a red heart. So, not too much lost, I would say. We're gonna die against Isaac. If you think this run ends in a happy place, I've got very bad news for you. 
Uh, we're gonna try to save Tammy's head until the Angel Fetus has come out, because Tammy's head could potentially save us from a crowd control standpoint. Uh, but look at the amount of damage we're doing versus the amount of dodging I have to do, and you will see why this run is gonna end the next time we get hit. I tried! I tried! I tried so hard! Oh, we have the Ankh! Now we have the Polaroid, too! And this changes things ever so slightly. Uh, because now we have a brief period of invincibility. Still gonna be real tough. Also, Meat Boy, you gotta get in there, man. Thank you for finally doing your fucking job. Now, I could possibly at this point just focus on dodging, let Meat Boy do the damage, and not worry about anything else other than trying to stay safe. I can't even focus. There's so many shots filling the screen at all times that I cannot even focus. I used Tammy's head there because I felt like it was totally necessary. It's basically my last ditch effort at this point, and we're dead, but we tried! Again, thank you to Torny. That was a run about a superhero named Torny. It's Torny's theme. And, uh, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones that are most entertaining or appropriate. But again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.